I'd like to thank Be Skeptical of Everything for helping me research this video on the dialogue mass, which was the forgotten segue between the traditional Latin mass and the Novus Ordo mass. I'm probably mispronouncing his name, but Dom Blambert Baudouin was a monk from Belgium. According to an article by Dr. Carol Byrne on the Tradition and Action website, the idea of the dialogue mass was first proposed by Baudouin in 1909, and that was just one year before Pope St. Pius X wrote, It is known that the Church has no power at all to touch on the substance of the sacraments. So, what was the dialogue mass? Initially, it was a low mass at which the responses ordinarily made by the altar boys were spoken aloud by the entire congregation and chorus. During the 1930s and 40s, dialogue masses were mostly set at retreats and other special events. The Misa Recitata, or Dialogue Mass, was introduced in Cincinnati by 1931. At this Dialogue Mass, the congregation recited the Mass prayers that were formerly reserved just for the priest. The celebrant at that Mass predicted that the Dialogue Mass would eventually be adopted universally. Here we see in 1948 that it seems that Monsignor Fulton J. Sheen appeared to have celebrated a Dialogue Mass. But that was a year after the general concept of the Dialogue Mass having been approved by Pope Pius XII, who, as you remember, has consistently appeared in this playlist on gradualism. Then, in 1955, Pope Pius XII made sweeping revisions of the Holy Week liturgy, and that by itself deserves a full video, and I'll try to do that next year before Holy Week. Then, in 1958, Pope Pius issued directives encouraging the use of the Dialogue Mass. For the first time in a pontifical document, a provision was made for a lay lector to read both the epistle and gospel in the vernacular. The instruction called for an active role for the faithful at both high and low masses. It stated that it was desirable for the congregation to recite aloud not only the responses, but to join with the priest in reciting the Gloria, the Credo, the Sanctus, Benedictus, and Agnus Dei. The instruction also noted that prior to receiving the Eucharist, the faithful could recite the Confidier and join in saying the triple Domine Non Sum Dignus. It also provided for the joint recitation of the Pater Noster by the congregation. From ancient times, the Pater Noster was said only by the priest. And this goes back to the early days of persecution in the Roman Empire, when Romans forced Christians to recite the Pater Noster and then immediately repudiate it. For this reason, it was never considered proper for the congregation to recite the Our Father out loud along with the priest. Here's an article that received national distribution from the UPI, dated April 9th of 1960, entitled, Catholic Congregations Participate in New Mass, and it was the earliest reference that Be Skeptical of Everything could find with the term New Mass. The article says, Today, in hundreds of Catholic parishes across the nation, the ancient service has a new look. Laymen in the pews are no longer silent spectators. They've become active participants in corporate worship. The kind and degree of lay participation varied from one parish to another. A typical pattern called for the congregation to sing one or two hymns, to recite in English several prayers formerly said in Latin by the priest, and to make some of the shorter Latin responses formerly made by the altar boys. Another innovation found in many parishes was the provision of a lay lector who led the congregation in prayers and responses, and who read the scripture lesson in English, while the priest read it in Latin. Even with the all-out backing of the Vatican, parish priests did not find it easy to bring their congregations around to these new ways. Lifetime habits were strong, and many devout Catholics tended to look with suspicion and disfavor upon any tampering with the Mass. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back again within a week with another one. But in the meantime, please check out my Facebook page and my Twitter page. Every day I post additional content that you won't find on this YouTube channel. And also, please pray for the church. Love, I love,